Numerous market commentators have spoken about a likely recession coming in 2023. One of the primary reasons for this is yield curve inversion in US bonds. Recessions are never a good thing for stock investors, but are often times of great wealth creation opportunity. It is important to be wary of recession indicators, even for the ultra long term investor. An inverse yield curve has been a reliable indicator of recession in recent times, calling all recent recessions without false alarms in the last few decades. To explain the inverse yield curve, we must first talk about the basics of bond yields. Bond yields typically increase with duration. This is logical. A one-year bond carries less risk in the form of time than a 5, 10 or 30-year bond. For a given bond or instrument, i.e. US Treasury bonds, which is the most common example, a yield curve can be drawn with yield increasing with duration. Yield curve inversion refers to occasions when yields on long-term instruments or longer-term instruments are lower than those on short-term instruments, and thus the yield curve inverts and decreases with duration. This is normally a product of supply and demand. When demand for long-duration bonds increases, the price appreciates and thus the effective yield, which is unchanging, falls. The most pertinent example of this is US Treasury bonds, as I mentioned. The Federal Reserve generally guides short-term bond yields through its monetary policy, that being changing interest rates in some way. Rising interest rates typically mean lowered economic activity and can lead to recessions as it appears we're seeing in 2022. On the other hand, long-term duration bond prices are determined by the markets they are traded on. When investors become wary of potential economic weakness or stock market decline, many investors choose to rotate towards the traditional safe havens of long-term bonds at the lower risk profiles and thus sell equities. This fleeing to the safety of bonds, even with the increasingly lowering yields, is the cause of inverse yield curves. The inverse yield curve is important because it has been a relatively simple and one of the most reliable indicators of upcoming stock market declines. Now this should seem obvious because as it shows sentiment is against equities and thus against the stock market as a whole. It is without a doubt an imperfect predictor, however inverse yield curves have preceded the last seven recessions without false alarms. Over the last 70 years, only one brief inversion in 1965 did not result in a recession. However, five years after this, a second inversion occurred and a recession followed. One false positive in 70 years and essentially spot on since the 1980s is a pretty strong track record in my opinion. In March 2022, the two-year and 10-year US Treasury yield inverted. More recently, the three-month 10-year yields inverted. Given what we now know about the history of yield curve inversion, 2023 and 2024 are potentially looking like times of opportunity in the equity market if we can get through a tough 2022 where sentiment is clearly against stocks.